guys play with us? Can you guys all say two? Two! Okay. One, two, Take your bow out of the case, lay it on your lap. Who's Brooklyn Miner? They are a really famous string quartet. Down, rest, up, rest. They are coming here to our school next week. They play with some of the most famous musicians in the world, and they're going to be doing something really special for us. One of the things which I take away from this week is that feeling of, of what it felt like to just start with the instrument. Just keep stirring, keep stirring. You know, the inspiration that involves, you know, with the, my, some of my first teachers out there, and then also the process of doing it every day of my life. There were a lot of kids who were about to play their bows for the first time or had just done it. It's an amazing moment because it, it is a magical thing. Like, how does that horsehair scraping across, you know, steel or gut produce something close to the human voice. It feels amazing. It's like a gift. A Gift for Music was founded in 1999 and uh, since that time uh, we've served 7,500 students. They asked us, have you, if anybody ever wanted to play the violin? And then it was funny because I was the first person who raised my hand. I love my, my instruments to death. I personalize it as if it were like my child. It, it just chooses you. You know, like in Harry Potter, when like you're in Ollivander's wand shop, it just chooses you. At first you doubt everything they say and you, you just want to quit at first. But then eventually, as you get better, you start to, this seed blossoms in your heart and you just fall in love. Brooklyn Rider has a certain way of just uh, tearing into their instruments in a way that gets the kids really excited, really bringing the sense of energy that I just don't think our students have seen before from classical musicians. <laughs> And then the fact that they, uh, they came out to visit our orchestra program. So if we just simply just lift the bow and rehearse with our orchestra. If you're courageous, is your body language this or is it like, ah! Uh, they were able to take some of that energy and put it toward the music that we were rehearsing at a gift for music. It's okay. Like if you're having fun, it's 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 fine. It's good. It's it's you know. Let's have fun. You know, we're there playing music for the kids, and if they walk away from it and love music, that's great. If they happen to walk away from it and think, oh, my neighbor's not too bad. I could check out what he does, regardless if that's music, food, uh, or or culture. That's probably as big and great as a, of a goal for us. Last year, I'm kind of really proud of this statistic, uh, of our graduating seniors from the orchestra program, uh, all of them are in college this year. I see myself going around in a world tour and in my private jet with my secretary telling me where I'm going to perform. I want to teach violin. practice practice and the families hear their kids and they think, God, what are those sounds? But then, you know, coming to a concert and, or a performance and seeing your kid perform, you know, play something for other people is, must be really satisfying. Orchestra people, it's just a special bond that we build when we play music that just connects our hearts together. I think of them as my extended family. They're really close friends and they're always nice to you. And they teach you and you teach them. So it's like a, kind of like a family.
Yes, I can. Very I played cool. violin for three years and I played um, piano for two years. Right. I'm the oldest, but they call me the sheriff. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Did you guys like the music? Yes. Yeah.